going to stay with UK News now and talk about the travel situation because more than 20,000 rail workers in England begin a 24-hour strike as the dispute over jobs, pay and conditions continue. Well, the industrial action it led by the National Union of Rail Maritime and Transport Workers it is expected to affect most operators in England as well as some train services in Scotland and Wales as well. Now, the rain... The rail strikes, they clash with school holidays in England and Wales. It's also expected to cause major difficulties to people travelling to events in London this weekend. Now, this includes the football fans travelling to see the Manchester Derby and FA Cup final at Wembley on Saturday, or the tens of thousands of Beyonce fans hoping to attend one of the shows of the singer in the British capital. Well, rail operators have urged the passengers to plan their journey before travelling. The dispute between the rail operators and rail unions has not seen a healthy outcome yet. Unions have rejected the 9% pay offer by the operators as one of the clauses include that while the negotiations are progressing, there should be no signs of an industrial action. So nothing agreed just yet. We've got our correspondent Alex Isaac joining us live from London. Well, as we know, it's going to be a weekend full of fun. We've got the football, we've got Beyonce, we've also got the school holidays as well. Do you think this is maybe just a coincidence or do you think it's being done on purpose for full impact? Well, it's definitely uh, been done to try and uh, have the greatest impact, definitely, across um, all of the country. I mean, here I'm here at Waterloo Station, and of course, this strike doesn't look uh, extremely big, but the protesters are on picket lines across the country, trying to not just get that pay rise that they say they want, but also to ensure the jobs for the future. They're claiming that the government is trying to cut down on train drivers and those assisting passengers on the rails and they say that means it is unsafe now specifically they do many of these um, pickets uh, and strikes when there are things happening in the UK because they are trying to make the government aware that something needs to be done and they want the UK public to stand behind them and also push forward for the government as well. However, the last Ipsos poll we saw in March showed that people are actually declining with their interest in this particular strike. Only 32%, that's one in three people in the UK, back the RMT and the uh, the train strikers and we there is a lot more favor for those nurses and others that had been striking as well but when it comes down to this weekend today there is a uh, service on some uh, train lines and there are a re very much reduced service but tomorrow on Saturday there are no trains across a number of, of train lines and so if people were trying to head into London or head out to the countryside or try and enjoy their weekend or, or had anything planned then sadly that won't be happening so many people have been very frustrated and very stuck over this weekend and as i said i think there is a there is this support for them is waning a bit and there is fatigue strike fatigue for people who just want to get about cost of living is affecting everybody and of course if they can't get to work and they can't enjoy themselves then the people aren't going to be backing the strikers and the government keeps repeating that they don't have the money and that they wanted to get the unions on it around the table so at the moment there is still this stalemate and, and it's going to be nearly a year it will be an anniversary soon of when this strike action started happening it began in, in the middle of june so it will be a year that the uk public have had to deal with these uh, strikes on the train lines yeah it feels like it's been going on forever actually to be honest um as we know as well people are struggling with the cost of living crisis here in the uk so if you already have a ticket to the football or beyonce or some other event in london you're going to need to maybe get a taxi or hire a car, very, very expensive. Alex Isaac, thank you so very much indeed.